All right, a couple goes out for an Easter meal at a restaurant in North Carolina, and they say pornography pops up on the TV screen there. As Rex Hodge reports, the restaurant's manager vows to find out how this happens. There's good people, good waitresses. Uh, we've never had a problem until Sunday night. Bonnie Thompson and her husband have enjoyed meals at Waynesville's Huddle House for years. All of a sudden, I couldn't help but notice shock on his face. It was Easter, about 8 p.m., when Thompson's husband looked up at the TV screen and drew her attention to a nude couple having sex. I was embarrassed. <laughs> he was embarrassed. She says it was playing in a family restaurant, and she was surprised. Then it just turned to just disgust. She says a man with young kids grabbed the remote and changed the channel, but she was left with questions. What kind of control do these restaurants have on what is uh, visual to the public in watching television? I greatly appreciate you Absolutely. letting me know. Thompson registered her complaint and met with Huddle House area manager Gene Waddle for answers. I cater to my community and I'll take care of this. Waddle says the restaurant carries charter cables, basic service, nothing X-rated. Absolutely not. So she's contacted the company to investigate how an adult channel might have appeared. I'm not real intelligent on the how if somebody can feed in to show something on our television that we don't subscribe to, uh, but I will find out. She says on Sunday night, employees and customers had access to the remote. She's changing that policy to manager's control only. And if an employee is the culprit? The community knows I will absolutely take care of that employee. Waddle says she'll do whatever it takes to keep the community comfortable. Thompson says she appreciates the positive action and says this experience won't keep her away from Huddle House in the future. Not at all. Not at all. Hmm. That was Rex Hodge reporting. Charter Cable says there is a possibility a video may have been projected wirelessly from a smartphone or a tablet. The cable company plans to examine the equipment from the Huddle House.